Hey guys, what's going on? Lever2000 here, back with some more City Skylines. And what's the plan for today? Well, we're going to do a little more highway maintenance. Uh, we're going to try to throw in a uh, shipping port, um, cargo harbor, I guess it's called. Uh, we're going to try to throw into one of those and then maybe get a little bit of public transportation going over here with a bus route. And other than that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I think. Oh, and uh, we need some parks and stuff over here. And oh my gosh, there's so many things. And uh, we're also going to throw some trees and uh, try to beautify these areas a little bit as well. So those are all the many plans for today. Um, firstly, let's start off with the highway because as you can see, it's crazy congested here. Um, so I just want to work out something here. And I think this is what we're going to do. I'm going to make this into a six lane highway. I'm going to bring it over here and then what we will do is merge it up with uh, this highway um, using off ramps as per usual. I just want to make sure I get this going the right way. Uh, let's keep this on curve. We'll go right like that. It can be a straight line. I'm not worried about it. This one can be like that, can be a little curved, I'm not worried about it. As long as we have this exit out of the city, it's just so important right now. Um, and we're going to have to go quite high for this one, as it's going to have to come over this already raised up highway and wrap around and then connect down that way. I believe that works. And then we're going to do the same thing with this one. We are going to raise it up. We're going to come over like so. I think we might have a problem here with the uh, support beams. So I'm just going to have to try to get this perfect. It's not going to let me go in between right there, is it? Is it too low? Oh, okay. It's a little bit too low. Okay, so we'll have it come down like so. And then connect up like that. There we go. So there we go. This is mainly built for um, these commercial buildings. I mean, uh, industrial buildings here, as we have just a ton of traffic and we can get this going now. And then hopefully we'll see lots of people start using um, this off ramp. I think that'll greatly reduce our um, commercial traffic in this area. Let's just speed things up a bit. And let's see if we can get some trucks going out that way or, or if they're all just kind of going to this cargo port and back, that might kind of be the case too. I'm um, not too sure. I'm not seeing too many trucks leave. Yeah, it still seems pretty busy. Um, I don't know if there's too much we can do about that. Uh, this landfill is full, so we'll start emptying. This one is emptying, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we might have to add another one. Unfortunately, that's going to make people pretty unhappy over here, but what can you do? Uh, we're going to have to add one right there. And that one is going to collect. Other than that, I'm not seeing too many problems. Okay, uh, second order of business. Let's build a cargo harbor. Now, it has to be somewhere down here near the Seamoth, so I'm thinking right here, and we'll have, um, we'll have another exit ramp for it there. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna make it um, pretty much one way, so hopefully that doesn't um, hurt us too much with traffic. So we can make it anywhere down here. I think what we'll do is we'll make it right about there, um, and then we could put an, a uh, passenger one here, creep beside it. But I think we'll hold off on that for now. Um, let's get the water and power hooked up to it first, so we can just come right across here and hook that up. And then power-wise, we can just run some power lines over to it, and we'll be all set. Should be good for water and power. Perfect. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Uh, we're basically just going to make one-way exit in and out off the highway. Um, because people should hopefully just need to stop in and, and do their thing and then get the heck out of there. So um, we would have the exit coming off here uh, we'll just make it like that and then we'll make it curve down like this 
And then I guess we can just connect it to a normal one-way road. I don't know if that makes a difference at all. Uh, but we'll just bring it down here to about there. And loop right into that. And that looks okay. Doesn't look great. And then we will just make this one-way curve back out. You can run up here. And then we will do an off-ramp onto the highway right here. And uh, it will be basically, that in, is my hope that that'll be the only way to exit this area. So you have to come in this way. You have to just go around the loop, drop your stuff off and leave that way. And then you can go back to um, the uh, industrial area, whatever way you choose. But uh, this is the way you have to go. Now, this is extremely like painful for like these guys because their only way to get there is basically to come out here, get on this highway, drive all the way around this massive loop into there. So that does kind of suck. Um, but yeah, I don't, well, I guess, okay, fine. I'm caving already. I'll change this so there is a ramp that comes down like so. And we'll make an exit ramp. I shouldn't, but I'm, I'm doing it. big giant ramp that's going to wrap way around here and come down onto this highway. And there we go. Now there's a way for both sets of traffic to come in and out. Um, we do have a few vehicles coming in. Like literally a few. Uh, looks like there's a, a more steady stream now and looks like the majority are coming from this way. So I am glad I made that. Um, should cut down on, on that pretty well. And as you can see, this is very efficient because they're just in and out. Uh, they never have to stop. They're not holding up anyone else. So uh, I am happy about that. That's good. So we'll keep that the way it is. Um, we got our cargo harbor there. That's great. All right, next thing, we will do some beautification of our city. So we're going to have to add some trees now. We got to get some good trees going on. I want big trees. I don't want little ones. Those ones are huge, but I don't want that kind. Um, those ones are bad. This one's like in the highway. I don't like that, but um, maybe I don't exactly want that. These ones are like bushes. These ones aren't bad, I guess. Okay, we'll go with these ones. All right, so I do have the uh, paintbrush tool enabled. Um, so that'll allow us to lay down a whole bunch of trees at once. So we'll just make uh, the slums a little bit nicer. It's, you know, not not the nicest place to live, but there's there's no reason it has to uh, not have any trees in it. So we'll just we'll just give it some trees. That that's nice. Um, I thought we made that a district. Can you guys see the name? I can't see the name in it. There. Okay, I just made it appear. That's weird. Okay, so there we go. We got that back. Uh, let's get back into our trees. Increase our tree brush. And we'll just lay down some trees in all these areas. Make this look a little nicer. It's old town, you know. It's got to have lots of beautiful trees. We'll fill all this in. We don't need like a million trees, but, you know, close to it. All right. So that's looking good. A little better. Um, we'll put some trees up here. We'll put some trees over here. We'll try to make this look, you know, somewhat natural. We don't want it to be like only trees in the city area. So we'll kind of make around this um, roadway, we'll have some trees, spread it out a little bit. Hopefully I'm not spending like a million dollars on trees. I, I haven't been paying attention. And we'll move into Leversville. We'll lay down some trees here as well. <laughs> some polluted trees over there. All right, so we don't need too many in there. As well as over here, we don't need too many. And just kind of do a quick brush over there that's that's looking a little better it's looking a little more uh, realistic I guess you could say we'll lay down some nice ones in here we may be adding um, 
some neighborhoods in there, but for now, we'll leave it be. Um, and then I think uh, another thing I'd, I'd like to do in this episode is get some kind of um, shopping area going on. Um, we do have a pretty good demand for commercial, so maybe we'll make a little shopping district and put in a mall. Um, if I have that unlocked, I think I might. So far, so good. This is looking pretty nice. We are definitely in a uh, foresty area now. Um, but yeah, I, I think that looks nice. Let's see. I think that looks good. You know, you gotta have lots of trees in the neighborhood. Like, th I think that looks really nice. You know, the slums obviously is like out in the foresty area, so that's good. And I think uh, Old Town looks nice with all the trees too as well. Um, before we make our shopping area though, we need to get some parks um, down in this new area. As you can see, um, this represents leisure and uh, there none exists over here, none exists over here. So uh, let's put down some parks. Put down a couple smaller ones. We'll put down one here and we'll see what that does to the homes. Uh, they definitely like that, so that's good. Um, and we'll try to switch this up. We don't want to put too many of the same thing in the same area. There we go. They definitely like that. We'll put one, if we can fit it over here. Good, good. Everybody's liking that. Um, let's, sure, let's throw in a botanical garden over here. Oh, people love that. That's fantastic. They can't believe how wonderful... Um, the uh, downtown botanical garden is. We gotta rename this. And as you can see, there's a ton of upgrades going on now because of that botanical garden. It's just the nicest thing they've ever seen. Um, they felt it necessary to renovate every apartment building within uh, five blocks of the botanical garden because it looks so nice. So uh, there we go. And uh, we're gonna have to add some over here as well. So. Uh, we don't have a ton of room uh, over here. Um, well, it doesn't look like we do, but um, I guess we do. Um, so we're just going to have to find a good place to put it. I'm going to actually end up taking out a lot of buildings if I put that in. So maybe I'll, maybe we'll just put in some smaller parks. Uh, one here, one here. What? How big is this? This should be able to go in, okay. Somewhere. Yeah, right about there. Right about there. There we go. We're getting a little bit of leisure. Some people are like, yeah, okay, this is this is not bad. Uh, we'll put in one of these uh, Japanese gardens, I think they are. Yeah, Japanese garden. Uh, we'll check that in right here. A few people think that's okay. Paradox Park, obviously, uh, is a uh, staple in every city we build. Um, we have to have them. So we'll throw down a couple. It's actually very hard to increase leisure over here, like, more so, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have a lot of areas that aren't covered. Um, so let's throw down a couple more. We'll throw down a basketball court over here. People seem to like that. We'll throw down another one over here. And uh, I think that'll do for now. Doesn't seem like anybody's too uh, eager to upgrade or anything. Um, over them so I'll just take it that they're satisfied enough and we'll leave it at that for now and then we'll do our shopping district and where's that gonna be hmm, good question I think what we'll do is we'll we'll do it right in here I think this is a good spot for it um, and then we can have a couple exits and entrances into it um, and I think it'll work out pretty well so um, we do have some issues with power lines now. I don't know if I make this, if, if they're gonna connect up. I'm hoping they will. But I'm thinking that that might not be connected to the power grid. So really quickly, I'm gonna bulldoze this and we're gonna see. Oh, it looks like it is connected up. So that's good. So I can get rid of this, these power lines. Um, and then from that, we will have a big area to do shopping center. All right, there we go. We're all set here. Uh, looks like they are getting power, so that's good. What's this guy complaining about? Citizens are sick. 
Well, our health coverage is fantastic, so I don't know how that can be. Uh, healthcare availability is huge. We seem to be doing fine. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what, what to tell the, these people in uh, the Franklin residence. I mean, um, I guess maybe try to take some more multivitamins or something. Uh, maybe that'll help you. Okay, so let's get this shopping center underway. Just before I do, I want to make sure we do have the mo we don't have it unlocked. What do we need? Average garbage piling per building. Mall of moderation. Posh mall. All tax rates at most 4%. So how do we get this? I want the mall of moderation. Do we have anything that could go here that would be okay? We have a tower. A cheap mall is fine. Average garbage piling per building, at least. I don't understand how we are to get that. Statute of shopping. Well, that's nice. I mean, that could definitely go in our shopping district, but I was hoping I had that mall unlocked. I guess I don't. Okay, well, instead, let's put a stadium in our city for $200,000. All right, we're going to put a stadium in, and we're going to save this area for our shopping center. Um, what we'll do is I think we will put the stadium right down here um, by the water. I think that'll be pretty cool. All right, so I think we'll do, well, I don't know what it's going to be like for people visiting it, if they just kind of go right into it. I don't know if they need to park to go into it. I don't know how it works, but um, this is what we'll do. We'll come down here, we'll curve this road. Street along the water. There we go. And we'll lay our stadium down right about here, and then we'll figure out how the heck we're gonna get traffic out. I think I I think I got an idea here though. All right, where is it? Here. Oh, look at that! Boom. Okay, there is parking, so that's all good. So people will actually park at the stadium, so it's not a big deal. Um, did I make this all one way? No, it's two way. Okay. So to get people in and out, um, we're obviously going to have to have some kind of exit off the highway coming into it. But I think by doing this, we can have that, and then we can just have our, our exit going out. And I think we should be able to sync it up with this. Right right there? Sure. <laughs> ah, it looks so bad. All right, we'll do it like this. There, perfect. So we can have it like that, and then we can have one coming off here going over the highway it's so tight and right there oh my god look at how like close that is to everything the train tracks everything but there we there we go in and out and then same thing for this one we can have oops, we have one about here now we don't want it to interfere with the bridge Looks like we're, we're okay on that. And then we can just have it come down like that. So we have some really wonky like off ramps and stuff, but nonetheless, um, the, it did work. We're all set. Um, we'll connect up some power to that, or some water and uh, some power. Nope, it's connected to power, so we're okay on that. The water should, uh, should activate here. I'll pause. That would be why it's not. 
All right. There we go. So we got our stadium down by the water here. I feel like we could add some, um, maybe, I don't know, commercial um, area down here too. But um, for now, we can just leave it like that. <laughs> so this guy has all these parking spaces all around the stadium. He's the first person to ever visit the stadium, Albert Blackwell. And uh, he parks on the road. Like, what are you guys doing? Where, where are you going? All right, so everybody's just parking on the road. Oh, and we made this one way so we can switch it. Um, we can upgrade to one way. Upgrade to one way. There we go. So now this entire street is a one way. And that will... Oh, okay. That, I guess, is the problem? Was that they couldn't get over to it? No, I guess it's just some people prefer to park on the road. I don't know. Um, to each his own. Okay, so there we go. We do have some cars parking in. Looks like this stadium is going to start getting some work for visitors already. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so I think that looks pretty cool down on the um, point here um, where the main river is. That's pretty cool. Looks like there's a cargo ship heading out to sea um, with 76% load. So that's good. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of trucks coming in here, so that's good. Um, and then lastly, let's just check how our traffic's doing. So we definitely still have some major congestion um, here, regardless of whether they're using this off-ramp or not. Um, this beautiful heart-shaped off-ramp, it doesn't really matter. Um, this is congested no matter what. And I don't really have any way of dealing with that, so I don't know what we're going to do about that. I'll have to think about it, but um, I mean, it's not a huge deal, whatever. It's only a little bit of traffic, so we'll see. Looks like we have some garbage problems starting, uh, so we'll have to deal with that. We can start taking garbage there. Over here, this guy's full, so we can unload. This one's 33%. This one's 37, so they can start taking garbage. That should fix the problem. Anyway, guys, um, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button and leave me a comment. Um, and subscriptions to my channel are always greatly appreciated. And until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you again soon.